Hi, it's Julala here. I'm going to do a little video here showing you how to photograph yourself for the Great Centaur Gallery, um, which is a new idea um, in order to get a load of piggies of the most beautiful, wonderful, diverse and creative centaurs in Second Life. To do this, we want all the photos to kind of have a similar look. Let's have a look. I'll show you quickly. Um, so this is going to be on uh, social media. So there's there's a gallery on Flickr. Um, and as you can see, as we go through the photos here, they're all very similar, similar background, similar poses, but not quite the same. Uh, also on Facebook, there is now an Ancient Order of Centaurs group. And that's where you'll find the Great Centaur Gallery on Facebook. Uh, there's also one on Pinterest. Let me just find that. There we go. So Great Centaur Gallery on Pinterest. And I've put a few photos in there of me in my various guises to start things off. So this is where we're doing the um, the scene photography. OK, this over here, this bush and trees is the scene that we're using currently. And I will do various other scenes as we go forward. So we'll do some different scenes, um, perhaps as the seasons change um, so that we can get some variety um, and you can do more than one photo. OK, so but only one look of, of, um, of Centaur will be in the gallery. So if you take a dozen photos of the same look, only one of them will go in. If you change your look, uh, change your Centaur, and I'm not just talking about your outfit or your hair. If it's a different look, then we can change it up, okay? Um, or when the scene changes, um, we can put some extra ones in there. So there's lots of instructions and what I've done is provided some tools to help get very similar photos. So let's just have a look what's in the box. There is a herd and there's instructions. OK, um, there's quite a lot of writing in there, but I suggest you read through it. Um, because we want you all to have your photos included, but if they don't kind of meet um, the specification that's outlined in here, they probably won't be included. OK, so um, have a look through. Um, there's no nudity for this because they're going on Facebook. Um, so we don't want to have to leave some out or have them removed. So um, you can dress skimpy as you like, but no nipples, etc. showing. Um, and make sure they've got no glitches, so no alpha glitches, no feet sticking through your knees, things like that. OK, and if uh, if you're using the system AV, please no jazz hands. Um, there are some little tools available to make your hands go into relaxed pose. OK, so let's have a look what we've got here. Let's wander over to the scene. Now, I'm in my dinky here because um, actually the, the smaller centaurs can be a little bit more um, complex. So I thought I'll do, do one with this um, Centini tour and I will then show you a larger centaur as well. So this scene, uh, we can sit on it. OK, and there are a number of poses in here and we can see that there are a couple for the teeny tours a couple for the petites and pose and pose two will work for the standard centaur and the centaur light or send light or um, pose and pose two will actually work with the centini tour and the sempetito although there may be some foot deforming and I, I might be able to show you that in a second and how to fix that okay um, so for now let's just go into teeny one OK, now you can see it's very far away. So the first thing we need to do, OK, is um, if you haven't got this icon on your toolbar, if you right click on your tool, toolbar and go to toolbar buttons, you'll be able to find it in amongst these and you just drag it down onto your toolbar. This is the photo tools. And in here is the view angle. 
and we want this to be 0 0.272 oh there we go straight in okay now let's go and find our HUD Now my Centini tour is positioned quite well here on the floor, but you can adjust your pose. Okay, so you can go up and down, forward and back, side to side. Um, when you go into your camera view, you'll be able to see whether you fit the scene quite well. And that's when you might think, oh, I might need to adjust it. So the left hand button on the HUD says click here to choose the most appropriate camera angle for your size. Make sure all of you is in shot. OK, if your camera doesn't move, you just press the escape button. OK, I'm going to go with teeny tour and you can see we've zoomed in. OK. Um, now I'm going to show you a little bit here because his ears are right up the top of the screen. They're not actually off the screen. I'm recording slightly inside my screen. But I want to show you how you can move your avatar into shot a little bit better. So we've got this on position. And let's just check. Yep. So we can just go between X and Y. And he's going backwards. not sat on the item square otherwise we could just do y and it would go forward and backwards but it's slightly off so can you see how just by moving him backwards a little bit he's come back into into shot um, and we might want to move down as well okay so we're in our pose for the centaur part we're in shot uh, we just need to do something with the upper body. Now, um, the right hand button here, click here to choose your upper body pose. I've put four poses in here um, that, that hopefully one of them will suit what you're doing. You can use your own upper body poses if you know how and you've got some. Um, but I would ask that you do make sure that your avatar is looking towards the camera. That's that's quite important for the um for the idea to work okay so we can go through here there's a number of poses for the upper body you see this one doesn't work quite well because it cuts through the clothing here so i wouldn't use that one but some of the others are okay um, i'll show you when i use the other avatar um, how to you know if you're using your own poses OK, so we're kind of all set, actually, there. Now, your graphics quality might be um, better or not so good, but it really should work even if you're on a kind of standard setting. If I put my graphics on a lower setting, it doesn't actually change much. OK, um, I am using the standard wind light on the sim. OK, so make sure if you're on Firestorm, you can go in here, use wind region wind light. OK, that will give us all the nice same look. If you're an advanced user, you can adjust the wind light. OK, if you go to environment editor, sky presets. OK, and you can change the background, but you can see I've chosen one here and it's it's very sort of clear behind and not hazy so i would ask that if you're going to change the wind light that you make sure that you soften the background okay by using the haze density the dent and the density multiplier okay and you can sort of have a little fiddle here so if you're going to change the background please make sure you soften um, otherwise it's going to change the look and, and not really go with the idea okay but if you're worried about that just stick to the region wind light it's an appropriate one um, and will work well so we're going to take a snapshot now just a note here you can change the resolution of your snapshot 
Um, I, the current window is often a good one, okay? But I've actually taken mine up. I can take it up to about 3,000. Oh, that's that'll be 300. There we go. Oh, constraint. There we go. Um, so you can up that a little bit and it will make it a higher resolution picture. If you go really high, um, you'll probably crash. So don't go, don't go silly with it. Um, and also in Firestorm particularly, if you go really high, you end up getting these weird lines in the background and, and sort of through the photo. So again, don't go silly with it. Um, I tend to not go above 3000 unless I'm doing something really crazy. Um, but, but whatever your system will cope with really. Okay, so um, what you need to do then is make sure that you're saving to disk. Okay, so we'll save that one. And then um, you're kind of done. There is some post production because obviously we want them all to look the same size. So if you're able to do the post production yourself, that's great. Uh, there are seven by five portrait. Okay, you can see they're all the same dimensions. Um, they're not all the same size. They don't have to be the same size, but they do need to be the same dimensions. OK, um, so seven by five and you can put a thin white border, no more than 17 pixels around the outside. Now, if you're not good with post production or you haven't got the software to do it, don't worry. Just email the raw snapshot that you've taken to Centaur Gallery at jinxsl.co.uk and I will do it for you. Um, either way, whether you do your post-production or not, please email those photos to me to Centaur Gallery at jinxsl.co.uk. Should we show you on a bigger avatar? I'm just going to get changed. So here I am in a standard sized centaur. And again, I'm going to sit on the scene and I can choose perhaps pose one or pose two. Um, I don't recommend that you choose the smaller poses, otherwise something horrid is going to happen to you. Um, and we will have send dwarf tours in the photo and that's not a good look okay um, if you do that you'll need to switch on your AO um, toggle it on and off to get yourself back into a, a, a respectable size okay um, so let's just um, adjust as we did before we need to go up a bit there we go and check again that we're on 0.272 yes we are and uh, we're going to choose this time. Let's go for center medium. Now you see my camera hasn't moved, so I just need to hit escape. Now again, um, with this particular outfit and look, I've got a headdress on here that I want in the photo. So I can either move myself back a little bit or I can have a look at the center tall. And that might be better for this look, I think. And we can choose a pose. Or, as I was going to show you, we can go and have a look and see what poses I've got in my inventory. So, um, don't look at the mess of my inventory. So we can have a look at some of the poses we've got here. Okay, any of these will work fine. But as you can see, this one I've just chosen, she's looking completely away from the camera, which is no good at all. Um, even that one looks a little bit, hmm, if you changed her eyes maybe, or turned her head, then it might work. You can do that with the anime HUD or the Axis HUD. Let's have a look in here for Axis. This is um, a HUD by Lelutka. Um, and you can see you can change um, the head position and neck position and actually all of the different parts of the face. Um, that's a little bit too um, 
over. Let's see what we can do here. So we can see that with a little bit of extra tools, we can change the pose into something that is appropriate for this. Um, so whatever upper body pose you choose, um, firstly, make sure that it's kind of fits with what you're doing and doesn't cut your arms through your body or something. And secondly, uh, make sure that you're looking toward the camera um, mostly. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know, you don't have to look, be looking directly at the camera, but um, in that general direction. So you can see this pose isn't really any good because the arms are just going through the body. <laughs> that would be OK, I guess. It's not one that I would choose. Maybe. So you can go through what you've got in your inventory and just see. What works? That one looks quite good. And of course, you can also um, change your facial expression depending on which head you're using. I'm using the AK head here um, and they come with this cool animations um, HUD. So we can kind of click on them and get some different expressions. Um, do make sure, of course, if you're using your expression HUD that the <laughs> Uh, axis HUD isn't um, dealing with various parts of the face because they will override. So um, I'm going to switch off the other parts here and just leave the head and neck. And you can see now this HUD over here is then taking control. That's quite a good expression for that outfit. You can see my screen gets very full of stuff, but of course the snapshot doesn't take all that. So, um, and we can wait for the pose to do what we want it to do. Maybe take a few different shots to see what they look like. I quite like that bit there where the leg comes up. And again, that's kind of done then. OK. Let's have a quick look at post-production. Like I say, if you struggle with post-production, don't worry that we can do it for you. Now, again, I use um, for quick edits, I use uh, PicMonkey, um, but you can use whatever graphics program you want to use. Um, I also use GIMP a lot. Um, so let's just find that last photo. There it is. I'm not going to do much to this photo because hopefully the lighting and everything is is done f done anyway. I put some lighting in the scene to light up your avatar. So really, all we want to do is um, crop it to um, five by seven. Just make sure that obviously she's in the middle. You can scale it down as long as it's the right um, proportions. So you can sort of bring her in so she fits a little bit better. Like so. For me, I might just um, lighten her up a little bit and give it a tiny bit of contrast that's because I'm a fiddler and I can't leave it alone um, but that's generally it and we're going to give it a little frame of 17 white and it's done OK. Hopefully I've covered everything. Um, 
If not, I will put some extra notes in the instructions. Have fun with it. Ask for help if you need it. Um, and hopefully we'll build a really lovely, massive, great Centaur Gallery.